Now, welcome back. With everything that's going on around in the world of sports, as well as business in Parliament yesterday, we were not able to bring you the interview that we scheduled to bring you. Uh, a fantastic interview with EFC matchmaker Graham Cartmel, as well as Irshad Syed and Demart Penner, two bantamweights of world-class standard, talking about the fighter season one that's coming to a head on the 16th of December at 9 p.m. on SABC3, where the grand finale will be played out with a purse of half a million rand standing by to be taken. Now, here's the awesome chat I had yesterday in its entirety, from start to finish, with these great champions. So, we have taken 10 of the best prospects from around the globe, okay? And they're all going to go into the house. They're going to duke it out. The reason that we've chosen these specific guys is they're all undefeated in their weight class. That's never been done in any reality TV show, combat or otherwise. And to kind of show you exactly what these guys are about is we've got DeMart Penner and Ishad Sayed as the coaches of the show. And they've got enough tension and heat on themselves and enough fire between the two of them that could drive its own reality TV show on wow. its own. So, I mean, can you imagine putting that mix together in a, in, a, in a setting where the guys are fighting each week and there's a huge prize on the line? So, Speaking of whom, it's going to be big. let's bring Ishad into the conversation. Uh, Ishad is going to be joining us on Skype because he's, he's out in New Zealand right now, but we, we, we couldn't pass up this opportunity to make sure that he does speak to us as well. Um, I'm hoping that Ishad is still on the line with us. And uh, Ishad... What does this, uh, what does this competition uh, do? First of all, uh, uh, good morning and welcome. Uh, what does this competition do for you, and why did you choose to get involved? About this opportunity, I thought it was a, a great chance, you know, for the sport and um, for myself. Um, it's a great way to, to promote the upcoming fight against the Mark, and um, I think it's just kind of everything's fell into place and everything's happened for the right reasons. And um, it's, it's going to be quite the show. As, as most people know, there is quite a bit of um, tension between DeMott and I. Um, happy birthday, DeMott. Thank you. Um, what do you want for your birthday? <laughs> no, good question. I have no idea. <laughs> maybe, maybe, I can, maybe I can get you some... Uh, Uncontaminated supplements. <laughs> You're a funny guy. Eh? <laughs> Good joke, though. No, no. You know what? It's actually quite, quite key that you bring this uh, this rivalry that you and Demart have. Did you ever think that uh, uh, the, the, the 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 tension and the rivalry that the two of you have as fighters would ever get to the level where you're now rivals as coaches? I'm, I'm gonna go out there not, uh, you know, to. I'm going to go out there to, to show that I'm a better coach. And then at the end of the season, I'm going to show that I'm the better fighter as well. All right. Now, thanks very much. Let's see what Demart has got to say about that. Uh, I, see, uh, uh, I see Ishad is being throwing a little bit of shade on you, talking about uncontaminated supplements. And so yeah. we know the story. Yeah. Uh, we know what, what came off it. Yeah. Uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure these are these fighting words, these little barbs, they do something to, to fire you up a little bit. I mean, absolutely not, you know. Um, I've shown that I'm not just a warrior inside the cage, but outside. I've proven myself well. I'm a professional, and um, this is just another chance for me to prove once again why I'm the best. And uh, Syed is not in my level. You know, he, he spoke a lot of uh, game before our last fight, and he said he was going to knock me out, uh, and it never happened. And this time he says he's going to come forward again, and I'm just going to out I'll class him again. And uh, deep down he knows that I'm a better fighter than he is. And uh, just, just welcome to my show. You know, they should call this the ultimate, <laughs> the fighter, the mud panner. You know, it's probably in the fight, the fighter, actually, we're all undefeated besides Syed. He's the only guy there that's going to not be <laughs> that's not undefeated. So, yeah, I think you're the, the, the odd one out there. So, so I'm sure you're going to bring this. It's easy to pad the record. It's, it's, it's easy. I don't care about my losses. I've come off my losses and I've learned and I've become a better fighter. Yeah, so. And um, I'm going to come back and I'm going to give it to you. Don't forget. That after the last fight, you tested positive. No. Yeah. So don't forget that. 
So that wasn't it's, a win it's for a, you. It, it's irrelevant, you, bro. You, it's irrelevant. No, it's irrelevant. No skill is skill. No, it's not. S skill, it's is not skill. skill is skill. Skill is skill. Skill is skill. It wasn't. It wasn't a physical fight. It wasn't a physical fight. It wasn't a. It was a stand-up fight. It's skill, and you got outskilled. You got outskilled. Admit it. You got outskilled. Okay, I'm not gonna you got outskilled. So, I'm so what are you gonna say? You got, you, got you, got you got outskilled. You got outskilled. You got outskilled. The reason why you, you got outskilled. This is exactly the same reason you why you got these two guys as the coaches, isn't it? And exactly. can you imagine having them in studio with you now, Kendall? Yeah. So, so this is gonna be on set every day. You're gonna see these guys in their element, which is in a gym training people to be the fighter. They're going to be representing their teams. They're going to be going head-to-head -head in every challenge with their athletes. And what's going to come of that? I mean, you know, you, you, you couldn't engineer this. This is two guys who have genuine, ba genuine bad blood for one another. No, no, so. I have you know, ladies and gentlemen, this is not planned. It's not scripted. It's real. Uh, this rivalry is real. And I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, it, it playing out in the, in the fighters that you're going to be, would be working with. Just a question. Um, uh, Graham, for you, do, do the... Do, uh, do the coaches get to choose which fighters they get, or is it something that, uh, that you will pick ahead of time for them? No, not at all. We will have nothing to do with choosing the teams themselves. So that will be totally up to DeMott and totally up to Ishad. They'll probably flip a coin at the beginning of the series and then go through the process of first picks or first fights, which is what we would like to see. That means that it's all up to them as to the roster of athletes that they can put in their team and create kind of the... the the recipe for success or the, the building the best team out of it. When's the first episode that our viewers are going to be able to see? So I think we fly the first episode uh, in November is, is what I know. We start shooting yep. right after the Cape Town event now. It's on the really 11th, good. we start shooting. So we have the Cape Town event. We all fly back in here. We go into the house and we, shot, uh, we start shooting for six weeks. Okay, and uh, in, in terms of uh, choosing the, co the, the coaches, I can imagine, like, for you, it was quite key that you find two coaches that have got something between them, some, some electricity between them, which we definitely saw between uh, Demart and, and Irshad. But why specifically Demart? Why specifically Irshad? I'm sure you could have chosen any other two fighters that have got a strong well, rivalry. Well, Kendall, they're not just two fighters. They're two champions. They are two of the very best fighters EFC has managed to produce. Mm -hmm. And... You know, it's an added benefit. Yes, we tick the box of these two guys not liking each other and that being a whole other element for a reality show. Mm -hmm. But if you look at it in context of their next fight, uh, 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 DeMart Penner, Ishad Sayed 2, that alone sold me on the uh, whole idea of them being coaches. Not phenomenal. Why did you decide to do this? I mean, uh, it was uh, natural. Did you know that Ishad was going to be under the coach? Uh, I would assume so. I mean, uh, I've, I've cleaned out the whole division. You know, I used to be a featherweight and I was a champion then. And uh, I defended my title five times that side. Then I uh, went down to bantamweight. I've defended my title three times now as well. So, I mean, I've been dominating and um, every single time they doubt me and they bring all these guys from New Zealand or wherever he comes from. Uh, he says Is that the reason African. why you chose to take on the coaching? Yeah, uh, I mean, who else were they going to choose? I mean, I mean, in all honesty, uh, at this moment, I, I am the best fighter in Africa. And, uh, yeah, I'm just embracing the moment and, and just being happy with everything. I'm going to give Irshad a chance to actually give his last word as well. Irshad, uh, some last words for our viewers, for Demart, specifically, if you've got. So, Demart, you used uh, two supplements to boost your testosterone. <laughs> Is that correct? Wow. Dude, uh, just get over it, man. Is it, let, let's, is promo it let's, let's promote the show. Let's promote Answer the, the show. Question. Answer let's, the question. Let's promote the show. It's now you're going on things on conspiracy theories. You barely went to university. No. You, you don't know what you're talking about. I didn't go to university. Yes, you didn't. So you didn't, you never went to university. So what are you talking about? You have no idea. People sure. that people that actually went to university were there. Many, many successful so people never went to university. It, it's regardless, regardless. Right. You're guys, still uneducated. I'm, so I'm pretty shut sure up, dude. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to like to actually have this play out properly it's, as well in, on the show as well. But he, uh, he doesn't want to answer the question. Sayed, Sayed. He doesn't want to answer Sayed, the question. Sayed, Sayed, Sayed. Go and finish your matric first, then come and give your opinion, okay? <laughs> Cheers. Okay, Ishad, thanks very much for coming through. Uh, we really hope that uh, you have a... Finish matric is one of the best 
high schools in South Africa for really your information. Okay, good, good job yeah. for you. Good okay. job. Demar, okay. Demar. Because he's, he's, because he's not in the studio, it's very difficult to, to get it because we don't have a face-to-face -to -face with him. That's a problem. But that's, that's, that's cool. I think it's very interesting. I'm looking forward to the show. I'm looking forward uh, to uh, the banter, if I could put it, the sledging, if I could put it in another way, that these two are going to be having between them. I'm sure it's going to translate into how hard uh, the, the, the fighters you're going to be working with. Yeah. What are you looking for in a fighter? Quickly, I think more well-rounded fighter. I think yeah. most important, importantly, is someone that knows how to fight on the ground. Yeah. You know, the stand-up aspect you can always learn a lot faster, but on the <clears> ground <throat> is a lot harder to learn. So I'm looking for guys that can actually fight more on the ground than actually stand-up. Grim, um, I've I've gone and I've found the very best that this uh, the world has to offer in terms of the middleweight rankings. Yeah. I've even gone so far as to find um, a fighter that comes out of Conor McGregor's camp, SBG Island. Mm -hmm. So the caliber of talent that these guys have to work with is going to drive the show, and the Mart team, De team Penner and De Team Sayed are going to be going head to head. I, I just can't wait to start shooting this thing. It's going to be insane. It's going to be absolutely insane. Now that's phenomenal. That's phenomenal. In closing, very quickly, Conor McGregor. Conor. And, and Conor McGregor. McGregor. I'm Irish. I love him, mate. It's a boxing it's match. It. You still it. say Conor McGregor? Flat out. It's a boxing match. You what Bo do you say? Boxing match, definitely Floyd. I mean, I wish Conor uh, could win, but I don't think he'll win, okay. honestly. All right. We'll talk next week. Yeah, awesome. maybe, maybe we'll have an actual <laughs> yeah. result. We'll know. We can actually have the debate. <laughs> next week. Gentlemen, thank you so much for thank coming. Thank you so thank much for having us. Penner, it's his birthday. He came and uh, have it, had a chat with us on his birthday. Really happy for him. As well as uh, uh, we've got uh, Graham Cartmill, uh, matchmaker deluxe from EFC Worldwide, <laughs> and ahead of the, the Fighter Season 1, a show that you're not going to want to miss. I'm going to be catching it. I'll be making sure that I'll be bringing you updates on the show as it happens.